Good morning, everybody. Today I'm working on a 2006 Hyundai Santa Fe, and the uh, scenario that is uh, that we're having today is that the vehicle won't crank. We can only hear uh, a click when we go with the key forward. So uh, we're we're going to check at the starter. The starter right here at the bottom. It's uh, right there. We're gonna to take. We're gonna to have to remove that protective uh, shield plate, and we're gonna apply some uh, voltage to see if uh, we can get the starter to uh, spin. If not, we're just gonna remove it and just probably take it to an uh, auto parts store to have it tested for us. My suspicion is that the starter is uh, it's not uh, working nice due to a lot of oil coming from the top of the engine. Here we have a better angle of the starter and like I mentioned before it has a lots of oil. Lots of oil coming from the top of the engine. So that's probably why this starter has uh, failed. I can even smell some uh, burnt electrical smell. Burnt. So we're gonna proceed and re uh, remove the starter. To remove the skid plate, uh, protect the shield. There were just three, uh, one bolt, one, two bolts, one nut. We have already, I have already disconnected uh, the negative um, battery cable. So for our starter removal, I'm not even going to do any testing on this starter because I can clearly smell burnt, just burn out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the. the uh, crankshaft uh, pulley with my wrench and I'm going to spin it just to make sure that the motor or engine is not locked up. That is not the reason why the starter is burned out. So for removing the starter we we got two 14 uh, millimeter bolts, one here, one nut over there on the top, easy removal. So I have removed the starter. Like I mentioned before, it's really easy to, really, what it's holding in the starter is just two bolts. One nut, one bolt. The starter is out. It's right here. Easy for you guys. I'm going to take it to the auto parts stores and have them test it anyway. We have arrived to this uh, auto parts store. We're going to have them, uh, ask them to test our starter. Right, here's the uh, new starter. I have already installed it in place. All you have to do is just plug your connector, your other uh, electrical connector, the big one, and your and the nut over here, and uh, the two that nut over here on the top, and this bolt over here. And now we're gonna put our protective shield back in place and. At the skid plate that was here on the under the vehicle and we are going to be done with this installation so anyone can do this it's very easy you just have to uh, lift your vehicle up in uh, safety stands and be careful always with working on the vehicles be safe 